Hey guys, Dr. Kyle Loveless here with uh, Queen City Health Center. Uh, I just come into you real quick and shoot a video on uh, testosterone, actually how to boost your testosterone levels. This is something that every single man on this planet right now, I mean, at least a good percentage of the people on this planet need to hear, of guys need to hear, because the world we live in today actually has so many hormone disruptors and most men have very low levels of testosterone as to what they should have or what they what is really normal because of the stuff in our environment. Because we sit so much, we live a very, very sedentary lifestyle which affects our testosterone. Because we um, have grains, glyphosates, all these other bad foods, it affects our testosterone. There's a lot of xenoestrogens, things out there that act as estrogen in our body that mess up uh, men's testosterone as well. There's so many th reasons why every single man should be concerned and should be doing something to boost their testosterone levels or at least following an eating plan and an exercise plan that's gonna help testosterone rather than hurt it. So I'm gonna give you five things today when it comes to testosterone that you can do to boost your testosterone levels or even just keep them at a good stable point, okay? So number one thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is food, right? The food that we eat plays a major role in our hormone levels, right? The type of food that we eat. So number one thing I'm gonna tell you on food is to reduce or remove as much as possible sugars and grains. Now I know I've told you that in most every uh, recommendation I would give you is to remove sugars and grains because they're so inflammatory, they affect the health of our body, but they also will cause lower hormone levels and affect hormones. Also the chemicals in our food that act as estrogens. So there's some specific foods you wanna stay away from, things that are um, things like soy products, they're gonna increase estrogen, and then also the unhealthy fats that cause estrogen issues, but also inflammation in the body. Your, your canola oils, your vegetable oils, your hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated oils, any um, safflower oils, you wanna stay away from those. So you gotta check your salad dressings, all those things, because they will inflame the body over time, reduce, um, uh, reduce uh, testosterone levels. One of the other things that a lot of guys do is drink, they drink beer, you know, and so beer, you know, it's a kind of a traditional thing that guys have done over the years and not just guys, but you know what I mean. And um, IPAs are one of the worst things for your testosterone levels. So IPA beers, higher pale ale kind of concept beers are going to decrease your testosterone, increase your estrogen. It just is what it is. Going organic on your food is very crucial as well. And then for going healthy on your meats, grass fed, free range and organic is essential. Go organic on your meats as well if you want to watch out and make sure your testosterone is strong because pesticides are going to act again as estrogens in the body and affect you negatively. So that's a diet from a diet standpoint. My first recommendation is remove the sugar, change your fats, eat better, cleaner proteins and remove toxins and chemicals. So if you can't read it, don't eat it. That's number one. Number two, the food specific. Here's three specific foods that I would recommend getting into your as staples in your diet. Number one is almonds. Almonds are really good for your testosterone levels. So you want to, what you want to do, what I like to do with almonds is not just not just buy roasted almonds or something cheap like that. I, I like to go and get raw almonds, soak it in water for about 12 hours, and that'll cause those almonds to sprout, which allows them to digest way easier, but also increase the nutrient value of them. And you can you know eat those almonds, eat those on a regular basis. Almond butter is a great way as well. And put that in your smoothies in the morning. You can go on um, actually DrAxe.com and Google or Google Dr. Axe along with his testosterone boosting smoothie that you can follow. And that thing is amazing as well. So one, number one is almonds. Number two is Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts are great. They have selenium and other things in there that help boost your testosterone levels. Also, grass or free range organic eggs. Those are amazing with the, the, um, all the good nutrients and minerals in there, the selenium, the cholesterol, high levels of cholesterol in there, good amount of fats as well that are all really, really good for um, boosting testosterone levels, giving your body what it needs to produce testosterone. Hey, here's a kicker as well. If you're someone that's trying to get pregnant, maybe you and your wife are having fertility issues, eat lots of eggs, eat lots of garlic, raw garlic. Those two things have been shown to increase your sperm count as well. So those are great foods right there for you. So number one, number two, number three thing I'm gonna recommend is exercise, but not over-exercising, meaning running these you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 miles a day or a week or whatnot, it's gonna increase your cortisol levels, which will decrease your testosterone. So your exercise needs to be, needs to be short duration, high intensity, and really you wanna be lifting heavy weights. The heavy weight lifting will boost your testosterone levels, it'll boost your growth hormone levels as well. It's just kind of how, we're, how the body responds to it. So on a daily basis, you should be doing some sort of lifting 
movements. And you also want to move all day long, not necessarily work out all day long, but you got to be moving. If you're sitting all day, it's going to cause issues with your hormones. So that's number three. Number four is get sleep. So many of the guys I know are such drivers and go-getters that they're trying to just go, go, go and work and work and work, but then they have family and then they have you know, the spiritual time and they want to exercise. They want to do all this stuff, but they're not sleeping. So you got to make sure you get enough sleep, guys. Seven to nine hours of sleep. An amazing study they did on performance with athletes is they showed that if they slept an extra two hours, the only thing they changed in their regimen was sleep, two extra hours of sleep, the entire team actually increased their performance levels and, re and also increased their testosterone and growth hormone. They showed you have a, 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 an actual a boost of testosterone and growth hormone in that next two hours. Hey, when you exercise as well, side tip, when you do it, do it in the morning when your growth hormone and testosterone are at their highest. These are all tricks, right? These are all ways to really make sure your testosterone is doing well. And then the final one, number five, is um, yeah, final one of my five, final one, number five, is actually going to be get chiropractic care. And you'll notice on my videos, I always go back to that. And here's why I'm going to do chiropractic care and adaptogens and here's adaptogenic herbs. Here's why is because we live in such a stressed world from emotional stresses, physical stresses and chemical stresses. We need to do things that are going to help our immune, our nervous system balance back to normal, get back to homeostasis. When you're in balance and homeostasis, your um, hormones are going to be stable. They're going to be where they need to be. So chiropractic care actually helps balance the nervous system, gets your body into a stable homeostatic point where your body can heal and where, you have, where your hormones will be normal. One of the things we'll see with patients that come in that have weight loss issues, maybe they're doing all the right things, but they're not losing weight, is when they start getting adjusted, they start losing weight because their hormones get back to normal and the stress is reduced. Adaptogenic herbs are amazing for this as well. I do them both, chiropractic care and the adaptogenic herbs, things like ashwagandha, rhodiola, cordyceps, CBD oil, all different types of mushrooms like lion's mane and other things like that are great for um, making your body balanced in the stress mode so that your body is doing what it's supposed to do. So those are your five things when it comes to testosterone. Testosterone issues are huge right now. The reason most guys, many guys are depressed or anxious or don't feel driven like they used to, maybe your sex drive is down, maybe, hey, you just, you're gaining belly fat and all this other stuff, it's a sign, or you, maybe your chest is getting you know, more womanly, you know, boobs, right, in the chest. Ultimately, what might be happening is that your estrogen levels are too high. True story, do those five things and you will start to see a difference if you really feel like it's a big issue, you need to get in depth with it, then you're gonna to wanna to do testing. There's hormone testing analysis out there that are amazing that um, will tell you exactly what's happening. It's called a Dutch hormone test. We do this in our office as well. If you're interested in that, let us know if you're a patient. If you're not a patient, give us a call or go on queencityhealthcenter.com and just uh, schedule an appointment time. I'll talk to you about the testing that you can do to see what your hormones are actually doing. That's a big one. And that'll tell you, you know, what you need to do exactly. But those five things are crucial. So number one, change your diet. Get the sugar out, get the grains out, get the pasta rice breads out, get the bad fats out and the chemicals out. Eat healthier meats. Number two, make sure that you're, um, I'm gonna get this out of work, so I don't remember. Make sure that you're sleeping at night. Number three, make sure that you're exercising. Four, um, number five is actually that you're getting chiropractic care and your adaptogens. And there's one other one in there I don't remember. Uh, I think it was working out or something. I don't know. You'll figure it out. Go back and listen to it. Anyways, you guys have an awesome day. I hope you got a lot out of this. And testosterone, um, everything, just so you guys know, everything I just went through there, that are some of, those are some of the things that women would do also to balance their hormones. So just an FYI there. All right, you guys have an awesome day. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Go to queencityhealthcenter.com if you want more information or help. We'll